Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. We need to go over the SBCs that dropped today on FIFA Ultimate Team. Look at some of that stuff and also talk about kind of the EA mess ups uh, for the day. This is another episode of EA screwed up inside the FIFA Ultimate Team, which is very unfortunate. But today it actually could have benefited you. Now, I'm not entirely sure I didn't see a ton of people that actually finished this off, but when the SBCs came out today, the COVID Chich SBC, who was a surprise winner, by the way, we'll talk about that in a bit, and the Headliners Challenge, both of those, the throwback headliners, both of those SBCs were duplicated. They were literally duplicated when they came onto the game. So you could do this throwback headliners SBC twice, get all the packs twice, and same thing with uh, Footy's winner, Dynamic Dribbler, COVID Chich. Like they released double the SBC today. Somebody hit Control V, Control V twice instead of just once. Uh, or something like that. So that was uh, interesting to see. I don't know if anybody got both SBCs done in time. If you did, GG's to you. You got some packs that nobody else got because I don't know how quickly they pulled them off the store. But obviously right now it's, it is fixed. It is current, just one version of each SBC. Um, but I want to talk about this throwback headliners SBC first because people are pack hungry right now. And that is leading everything to be way up in price. Now we're talking... Gold cards are up in price, which is making this throwback headliners SBC very, very expensive. 75, 78K right now on Xbox, 67 on PS4. So it's about 70K. But honestly, this SBC in a normal market should be somewhere around 40K or less. This 82 rated squad, basically you need an 82 rated squad with a couple extra requirements for this, this last SBC costs you 40,000 coins. The rest of these 10K, 10K, 14K, that's really doable for an easy SBC. But the fact that this one requires an 82 rated squad and 40, like 40,000 coins to complete that is really jacking up the price of this overall SBC to get it done. The packs are decent as well, but they're not just, they're not great. My advice for you guys is do this SBC, test out your pack luck, but hold the packs until Wednesday when the batch two comes out. Uh, that's my feeling with this one. But also buy the players to do these SBCs tonight during squad battle rewards. Yeah, I mean, there aren't many obje objectives this week with squad battles, um, but definitely last week people played squad battles because I think there was a foot swap player that you could get from squad battles and there's also that Danilo Pereira, which I'm sure a lot of people got. Okay, there's one objective this week. Win three squad battles matches using some really crazy requirements. So interesting. There's not a lot of squad battles going on this week, but for the last week there was, and I think that's going to increase some of the supply um, from, you know, like the 82s, the 81s, that's going to be increasing supply squad battles. And it's also late at night. So there's less people on. So if you see an 83, if you want to trade and invest for this portion, I mean, you could just go over here to Footbin go to cheapest players by rating and find some 83s or even 82s that are really expensive to get good links like uh even wynaldum wynaldum right here 2.3k i don't know if you need any liverpool players henderson 2.3k maybe during squad battles you can you can pick him up for 1k like 1.5k you know he's gonna hop right back up to 2,000 coins because of this sbc um which he he was at 2.8k earlier so you know all these fluctuations are going to continue to happen as they continue to put out SBCs like this. And we still have the Team of the Week SBC out there uh, that people can do with their 82s and their 83s if you're doing the uh, the tradable 84 plus SBC. So if you want to do a little bit of stuff around squad battles, I would say do that headliners challenge probably around squad battles, but then save the packs until Wednesday. That's my opinion on that one because I think the batch two... And we talked about that in yesterday's video. I think the batch two of players is going to be a lot higher quality than uh, than a batch one. Batch one was solid, you know? Uh, ones to watches. Um, some of these other cards in there, like the best of informs. Some of the best of informs from early on Team of the Weeks. But I do think that this next batch is going to include some TOTS cards. Um, I think it's going to include FFS. I think it's going to include Carnival, Headliners, and... Um, I'm forgetting one of the team in the knockout stage, as well as, uh, I know I'm forgetting one more. What is it? I can't remember. I think I said team of the season already, but probably some of those as well. So headliners challenge, I think is a go. Once you see some of these prices drop, 
And then on to the footies SBC. This Kovacic card is interesting. You get okay packs back. This SBC costs you 100,000 coins. The card itself is about 150. You need an 85 rated squad. That's why this one's kind of expensive because 85s are definitely up in price. Um, just because there's SBCs galore right now. What are 85s at? 11, 12,000 coins. Yep. 86s went up a tiny bit today. 87s are up a smidge. So, wow, 84s are just, they're 7K, man. That's ridiculous. Crazy, crazy stuff. But yeah, during squad battles, look at the 83s and the 84s as well because people are going to continue to do these SBCs and we're going to get more player SBCs. I mean, I would expect another player SBC to come out tomorrow. Um, and then if you haven't done the Alonzo, which I haven't yet because uh, I'm waiting for prices to go down, Robin goes away tomorrow. Does anything else go away tomorrow? Maybe Bale. I don't have, I have, well, you know, Bale came out after Robin, so who knows? But there's probably going to be more SBCs tomorrow. I mean, that's, they're probably going to give us another, another SBC. These premium upgrades, the UCLs, they can go away. Fine. I'm good without them, to be honest. I think the focus is really shifted towards the team of the week upgrade packs, these headliner SBCs, and then the footies. But then remember, we're not going to get footies again until next Wednesday. So it is Saturday. We got our last footies until Wednesday, at least if they continue up the same trend, which I, I hopefully they mix it up. Um, but more on this SBC. Kovacic was a big time surprise winner today. And I saw a tweet from one of the EA devs, and he said that the competition, the voting, he said it wasn't even close. And everywhere that I saw, everybody was voting Draxler. Everybody was voting Draxler. So to me, uh, it just means that the casuals are still playing this game. If the casuals are still playing this game and voting on stuff like that, um, the casuals have a huge effect on something like that because a majority of the people that play FIFA um, are from the United Kingdom, the UK, and majority of those people over there are going to vote for, uh, you know, an, a Kovacic card. That is Premier League is the most popular. Obviously, we talk about that all year. Premier League has the hype, and Kovacic hasn't had a special card all year. All year, excuse me, and uh, this. He finally got one. So I want to show you one thing that happened today. This is this is honestly disgraceful. You can get on the market at 6 p.m. UK every day, the drop time, whatever that time is for you. You can get on the market at that point, and there's always going to be some panic. Look at this Conte card. 200,000 coins before the drop. He is basically a or Kovacic, Conte, substitute good for one another. Conte drops to 170. Who in the in their right mind is going to panic sell their Conte? down 30k to go get that Kovacic chart card. Conte is a way better player in this game, much more linkable. Yes, he is more defending, but it's Conte. I haven't used the Kovacic card. Maybe I am completely wrong in saying this. Maybe that Kovacic card is super beast because he got a big upgrade. But obviously when you see panic like this, down 30k and in a matter of two hours, you, you buy that right for 170,000 coins. You would have been able to flip it for right under 200k. Um, for that, and this card was already hyped up because of Alonzo uh, coming out, so that was very interesting to see as well. But again, I really want to put some emphasis on the squad battle stuff because I do think um, that squad battles is going to give you a good time to possibly stack up on some of the the higher rated cards, you know, linking cards, maybe not higher rated, but the middle ratings, the stuff that's going to get packed a lot. Like, whoa, Chris Smalling, that's got to be an undercut, twelve hundred coins, isn't he like two K right now? Yeah, that's a pretty massive undercut. You know what? We're going to do a little gold trading. Buy this card for 1,200 coins. Um, I don't even know what he goes for right now. But stuff like this, like Chris Smalling going for 1,200 coins. What's he actually go for on Footbin? 2,200. Hey, what are we saying? 1,000 coins profit. Well, this for the 900 coin profit. But boom. Like Chris Smalling going for 2,200 coins like that. Um, he should He should not be that high, you know? Like... It's just crazy that he is 2,100 coins as an 81 rated card just because he gets some links for some of those SBCs. So if you want to do more SBCs, if you're looking to even do some of the 81 plus team of the week packs, look to buy some of those cards here um, in this evening when squad battle rewards come out, which I think is midnight UK or 1 a.m. UK. So it is kind of late, um, but you could see some of that. And I also want to kind of talk to you guys about maybe doing a club stock. Maybe doing a club stock on some of the other higher rated. We're talking 86s and above. 
If these could come down a little bit more, that would be nice. If we get an SBC tomorrow that, that gives out a good pack, they could maybe drop some of these 86 rated cards, whatever they put out for content or today, excuse me, today. I think that these cards could continue to rise throughout the week a little bit um, into Wednesday because people are going to use the informs that they got from the inform upgrade SBCs um, and they're going to start to chip away at icon SBCs. I say that because I'm actually going to be doing that myself with Maldini. I've done some inform SBCs. I've gotten some 85s, some 86s. Even the 82s and the 83s help out because I have higher rates in the club. I can throw those into like an 82 or, or 84 or 85 rated SBC and still get the rating. So I think people are going to be doing some crafting because they got informs and that was holding a lot of people back from doing icon SBCs. So I think you're going to see some of the higher rated golds kind of start to shift up as well. The ones that look the best for me right now are still 89s probably. If you can get some of those 89s at like 33k for Dybala right there, that's pretty low. Um, but again, as I talked about through this entire promo, and as you can very well see right now, this promo is all about SBCs. Yes, they have stuff in packs, but it's all about SBCs to get packs because they have stuff in packs. And then also do some upgrades, re-releasing some of these best of SBCs um, and stuff like that. So we're seeing the SBC portion of this promo starting to kick alive a little bit more. After the first week was just honestly really, really dead. It was pretty dead that first week. Uh, to be honest. So hopefully we see more SBCs throughout the rest of this week. The headliner challenge, is, it's nice. You know, it's something to do. You get you, get you some packs and we all, we all like packs, you know, we all like some packs. But again, I want to start talking about this again. Start maybe looking at selling some FFS cards. I want to actually check and see are some of these down and are some of these low right now. FFS, Team of the Knockout Stage, um, Headliners and Carnivals. You might want to try to get rid of them here pretty shortly because of weekend league sell-off is, is probably starting to happen right now. I'm going to check through some of these headliners. You know, Lala's down a little bit, not too much. What about uh, somebody like this Sane card? But I think a lot of people are going to realize that, hey, these cards are probably going to be included in batch two. And if you can get them out sooner rather than later, that's the shout in my opinion. Somebody like Timo Werner. Somebody like Timo Werner. Boom, he was up a nice bit for weekend league rewards this weekend as well. We'll talk about a lot more stuff. I have some, I think I have some opinions on what I think is going to happen with the market this week in terms of some of those FFS cards and the headliners that aren't in packs yet. I mean, as you saw, when the first batch dropped, everything dropped a crazy amount the first day. Like the first day you had stuff dropping insane, insane amounts, but there were a lot of people who had saved up packs for the first batch of footies. There was actually a lot of people that had saved up packs, and I don't think that's going to be too much of the case this time. I would honestly like it if people did save up packs, because that would create a little bit more of a crash. <laughs> but um, I don't honestly, I don't think it's it's too possible. I don't think the crash right away is going to be as big as last time, um, and I do think there's going to be some pre-crash as well. But we'll talk about that a little bit later. Hopefully, we get some Sunday content, man. We always like to see some content on the Sundays, and again, try to grind your foot champions games. I need to keep playing tonight. I need to keep playing tonight um, because these new cards are gonna be in packs. The headliners, the FFS, and team of the seasons, they're gonna be in packs for batch two. So um, yay for that, you know what I mean? But uh, some of these cards are still really inflated as well. The market's still really high. I had somebody ask me today, are, are icons gonna be panic sold? I don't think so because people still have a ton of coins in this game. Uh, you're not going to go have to sell your Viera. I mean, perfect example of this, look at the primer icons. I mean, obviously Ronaldo's extinct. Eusebio was really high earlier today. What about Ronaldinho? What's he chilling at right now? 6.1 million. I've seen people selling Hullets for 11 million coins. Like, yeah, like Hullets like that selling for 11 million coins. The stuff on the market is very high because people have a lot of coins right now. Icons, all that kind of stuff is going to stay pretty high. The only way that that would go down is if they release some sort of like team of the season repeatable guaranteed SBC. That would be something that people would dump their coins into to get a guaranteed team of the season card. That would be that would that would really change the market. But as it stands right now, you're gonna see the most movements on the lower rated things because the top tier meta most used um, like big time stuff is kind of untouchable, you know? Like this team of the season CR7, team of the year, excuse me. Um, this 
Obviously that price is going to be affected a little bit by the ones to watch, but it's still the best version of this card, big stat boost over the, the ones to watch. So people are willing to pay the extra big bucks. Now look at this fresh hull, it went for 10775 uh, earlier today. So stuff is really high on the market and uh, people have coins still from all the team of the season rewards that we're still getting from foot champs. And um, it's really easy to make coins off of packs right now because you have all these other special cards in packs and I think it's going to be even easier during batch two. So another little market talk video for you Sunday. I just like looking over the market right now at these times. We're probably going to start looking at some FIFA 20 stuff here in the next couple of days. But before I want to do that, not FIFA 20 stuff just yet. I mean, we're going to look at like a year in review of FIFA 19. We'll probably have a little bit of a series where we do a video once a week for the next couple of weeks where I just look at stuff that happened during the year in FIFA. You know, we'll look at some SBCs. We'll look at the promos that came out. Um, we'll look at changes. Like a lot of guys, a lot of you guys probably don't remember. This is the first year that we had foot champions rewards changed. They always used to be at 6 p.m. UK on Thursdays. This year, within the first month of the game, they changed that in the middle of that first month. And that really changed the market. And it allowed us to do a lot of things on the game that we, uh, with, with Thursday flipping, um, that we hadn't really done a ton of before. So I'll talk about that kind of stuff. Just kind of like a year in review of FIFA 19, looking back at SPCs, cards, promotions, how EA did. We might even get FIFA 19 a report card. <laughs> as cringy as that sounds. So we'll see what happens with that. Um, but expect those type of videos to kind of keep showing up a little bit more. I appreciate you guys staying with it. And if you guys are watching my videos right now, you are the real homies because this is when FIFA is, this is kind of FIFA at the end, man. We're sliding downhill out of footies. Um, and into FIFA 20. They're trying to keep this game alive as much as they can, but as you can tell with the number of live transfers we have, 466,000 live transfers on Xbox right now, the game is slowing down a lot. So I appreciate you boys being here, watching the videos, uh, and all the support and the love that you show me. So if you enjoyed this one, smash a thumbs up on it. Comment down below if you have any other questions, and subscribe to the channel if you're new. It's been Nate, the Foot Accountant. Catch you guys later. Peace out.